Hi, this is Pia Sundar and welcome to this special, special, special episode. A few days before, I just posted a tweet. Is there a way one can make more than 20-25% per annum with arbitrage opportunity? What is arbitrage? Let us say you are living in Delhi and tomorrow you are going to Chennai. In Delhi, you find tomato selling for 100 rupees per kg. And in Chennai, uh, tomato is selling for 150 rupees. So there is a 50% difference in the price. You buy for 100 rupees in Delhi, then next day go and sell to 150 rupees to your Chennai friend. So you make 50 rupees risk free return. Of course, the question comes, you know, you buy today, tomorrow you go, then tomorrow your friend don't want to go buy. No, you should get the agreement from your friend today itself. Buying a product from one market and selling the same product in other, another market at the same time with a price difference. So the thing is that you don't carry any risk. So one place buy, one place sell. So it carries no risk and you get a good return. I will give you one simple example. If you see most of the stocks, let us say Reliance Industries. If Reliance Industries is trading at 2500 rupees and in future market it may be trading around 2510 rupees. There may be 10 rupees premium. So what you can do, you can buy the shares in cash market and you can sell the shares in futures market. So you buy and sell at the same time, but you buy for 2500, you sell for 2510. So that 10 rupees is your sure shot profit without risk. This is an arbitrage. But the problem is that you pay STT, you pay stamp duty, you pay clearing charges and you pay transaction charges, you pay brokerage, you pay GST and brokerage. So there are so many charges you pay. Then finally, that 10 rupees that benefit you are getting, 8, 9 rupees is gone uh, for the charges and other things. Once upon a time, this arbitrage was a very, very good business. But now because there are so many charges and uh, other things on one side, on another side, you know, uh, computers keep on looking where is the better arbitrage and they come and execute the orders. So naturally, as a human being, you cannot compete with the computers. So this is why the arbitrage is almost not there in India. But today I'm going to show you no arbitrage fund in the world gives this kind of return. You get more than 20-25% return per annum without any risk. Then one simple question comes. If without any risk, if people can get 25%, then everybody will put the money here. But I can tell you, uh, this is not applicable to all the people. So this arbitrage opportunity is available only to a particular segment of the people. But then you and me are there. There's nothing to worry. First, I told you, one particular segment only this opportunity is there which particular segment the answer is derivative traders i am a derivative trader i am an options trader so number one most of the options traders and what they do so instead of giving cash to the exchange and they give collateral to the exchange and then they start trading people can give fixed deposit as collateral and people can give shares as a collateral and you know, so there are n number of things the people can give as a collateral. Sovereign gold bond can be given as collateral. Now, another big problem with Indian markets, most of the brokers, they say only 50% you can give collateral, the remaining 50% should come as the form of cash component. Remember, it is not cash, it is cash component. So what are the things considered as cash component? Liquid funds liquid bees they are considered as a cash component finally 
the sovereign gold bond is also considered as a cash component first thing is that you know uh, so far people mostly accepting 100 percent collateral but now people insist 50 percent cash component so then i thought of looking at this sovereign gold bond okay so number one so this arbitrage opportunity i'm going to explain is uh, very good only for options trader who want to invest some money and give it as a collateral so the instrument i'm going to talk is sovereign gold bond in this example okay i just take uh, 50 lakh as the capital but don't worry even you can do this with 5 lakh capital also so just for the easy explanation i'm taking 50 lakh capital so number one i assume that my capital is 50 lakh rupees so 50 lakh rupees i can put it in some equity shares i can give it as a collateral to the broker but instead so what i'm planning i'm going to put 50 lakh rupees in sovereign gold bond so if i put 50 lakh rupees in sovereign gold bond i can buy uh, one kg of gold now what is the difference between investing in physical gold and investing in a gold sovereign bond now let us look at nsc website and you can see sovereign gold bonds you click the sovereign gold bond i will take the example of 2029 because that is where i invested 2019 series 6 this is what i invested so you can see sovereign gold bond expiring in september 2029 series 6 it is trading around 4800 rupees one gram is uh, 4800 rupees that means one kilogram will be about 48 lakh rupees so that's why i said if i have a 50 lakh rupees i buy one kg of gold bond now the question is if you just go and type gold price in chennai so we have to put 24 carat gold price in chennai and see 24 carat is about 5300 rupees if i want to buy one kg of a physical gold it will cost me about 53 lakh rupees and the same thing if i buy in sovereign gold bond i'm getting 48 lakh rupees so that means there is a saving of about 5 lakh rupees for a 50 lakh rupees investment you are saving 5 lakh so that means you are actually saving 10 percent of course in 2029 september the price will be as the market price only so now the sovereign gold bond always trade at a discount so that too 10 percent discount from now to let us say 2019 there's about 29 there's about seven years for seven years you are getting about 10 percent discount so that means you are getting almost one and a half percent return because of this discount so remember you buy the gold instead of cash market you buy in sovereign gold bond you are getting one and a half percent per annum as the discount but then you buy the gold now then you know in 2029 if the gold prices crashes you will lose right i wait i will come back to that second thing is that when you invest in gold bond so the government of india pay you 2.5 percent interest per annum for you the so 2.5 percent interest per annum you know plus one and a half percent discount you are getting so you are almost getting four percent return per annum for your investment so that's a very good return so instead of giving a cash to the broker you do this you give it to the broker so you are going to get four percent return for your investment number one i have 50 lakh number two i'm going to get four percent return and number three i'm going to give this as a collateral to the broker and i'm going to do my business so my business is trading in options now coming to the next part i have invested my money in sovereign gold bond it is related to the gold price the gold price may go up or may go down in future so how to hedge it go to mcx so this is an mcx website and go to market data and then market watch okay and you can see future commodity and let us look at gold click show so you can see gold future expiring on 5th of october you know uh, is trading around 5311 so you buy one kg of gold in sovereign gold bond give it to the broker for trading that's a separate after doing that what you do you come and short one kg of gold in mcx futures 
so you are long in gold sovereign bond short in future so you are one long and one short you carry zero risk so maybe if the gold price shoots up 10 percent you don't gain anything the gold prices crashes 10 percent you don't lose anything and because whatever is the profit in sovereign gold bond is compensated by the loss in future or whatever is the loss in sovereign gold bond is compensated by the profit in future so number one you don't carry any risk now if you want to short gold future you have to pay margin money i told you i have 50 lakh rupees you are investing in one kg of gold give it to the broker for margin money so there will be a 10 percent haircut so the broker will give you about 45 lakh rupees margin for shorting this future it will take another 5 lakh margin so that means if you have got 50 lakh rupees put it in gold sovereign bond give it to the broker okay 45 lakh rupees is the limit 5 lakh limit you are using for the shorting gold future that means you can effectively use only 40 lakhs our indian markets are not efficient okay but us markets are more efficient so in indian market sebi should consider linking the cash market and futures and options market so if somebody is having a gold sovereign bond in cash market and if he's shorting in future actually they should not demand 5 lakh margin money so they should demand between 40 50000 this is risk free but anyway indian markets are not efficient now first thing is that i told you invest in gold the second thing you are getting 4% return third thing you are shorting in mcx so that you have got no uh, risk at all but what is a beautiful thing this future expires on 5th october on 5th of october you have to square up this future and then you have to short december future so in mcx i think the contract is available for every two months but look here you are shorting at 5300 now if you are shorting the december month so there is a price difference how much is the price difference the price difference is almost 300 rupees so every time you close your position next series you want to short so you will be getting about 150 rupees additional profit while shorting if you are getting almost 100 rupees profit let us say uh, 273 divided by 2 is not exactly 150 let us say 136 so for simple sake you know let us take 130 that means you know like you are getting 130 rupees profit per month so 130 into 12 so you are getting 1560 rupees this is for 10 gram so for 1 kg you have to multiply this by 100 that means you are almost getting 156000 rupees as the profit but whereas the margin money for this is about 5 lakh rupees okay so if you see the return on investment is working out to be 31 percent i repeat once again you got 50 lakh rupees put it in sovereign gold bond one you are going to get 2.5 percent interest plus 1.5 percent discount so you are going to get four percent return for your investment so that's a separate story second thing give it to the broker for options trading as a collateral is a cash component then out of the limit that you are getting use 5 lakh rupees for shorting gold future so you are using only 5 lakh rupees for that 5 lakh rupees so every month you keep on shorting until the maturity so number one you carry zero risk because you got 1 kg in sovereign gold bond long 1 kg short so absolutely no risk so you are taking the risk away from the gold price fluctuation plus every month while shorting you get extra 130 140 rupees profit so that profit translates into about one and a half lakh rupees for a margin of about five lakh rupees so that means you are getting a straight away 30 percent return so you know when you invest 50 lakh in gold give it to the broker you don't want to put all the money into the risky trade so one small portion one five lakh rupees you are putting it here with a risk-free trade so you are getting 30 percent return also on top of which you are completely uh, fully hedged against the gold price fluctuation so this special arrangement is applicable only for uh, traders who are trading in futures and options not for everybody now the last but not the least question sir you explain 50 lakh you always talk about big money no i can tell you you can do this in with 5 lakh rupees also 1 kg of gold is 50 lakh rupees 100 grams of gold is uh, 5 lakh rupees mcx if you say gold it is 1 kg gold and if you see gold m is gold mini so then it is 100 grams 
MCX actually introduced 100 gram of gold, 1000 gram of gold as well as options also. So if you are a, a little bit uh, savvy person, so what you can do, you can actually go and see the options data. You can go and see the option chain. So you can choose gold, you can choose September, like you are shorting at 52,000 rupees 311. You see the 50,000 put option trading around 150 rupees. 150 rupees for 10 gram. So you can calculate accordingly for 1 kg. So what you can do, because you are already short in future, so you are selling a put option, they are not going to ask any extra margin money. There may be a little bit of extra margin money. And then you know if the gold prices comes down, okay, you can book a profit of about 3000 rupees in one month. But let us see the gold sovereign bond, you know, is for long term investments. So even if the gold prices comes down, long term it can go up like this, you know. So this 30% to 35% arbitrage return, you can actually slightly increase. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.